Turning now to our continuing coverage of COVID-19 and its economic impact on our community. The frustration grows for health and fitness club owners across the state who were forced to shut down more than two months ago due to the coronavirus pandemic. WWI's Kylie Jones talked to the owner of Muscle Works Fitness, who's fighting back. Yeah, he has filed a lawsuit against Governor Roy Cooper's orders. Kylie, what is he looking to do? Well, Randy and Donna, Jason Morgan has tried to reopen his doors throughout this pandemic to no avail. Now he's seeking a temporary restraining order against the governor's orders. And this comes this same day. A group of gym and health club owners statewide filed a joint suit against the governor. You're refusing to allow somebody to work, to earn a living, and that's an unalienable un right. Owners of health and fitness clubs around the state feeling singled out. It's hard to believe that the healthiest place that you could go is now labeled the worst place you can go. That frustration mounted even higher as these owners are forced to keep their doors closed. Muscle Works fitness owner Jason Morgan says he can't wait any longer to reopen. One quarter of our month or of our year is gone. That's a whole tax season of no income. After reopening against the governor's orders a few weeks ago and being shut down again, Morgan isn't sitting idle. He filed a lawsuit asking for a temporary restraining order against the governor's orders, keeping his doors closed. Obviously what we're after is, is the right to be able to work, to run our businesses. And he's joined by a similar statewide suit. Gym and health club owners around North Carolina banded together to file the same temporary restraining order. The end result for us is not looking for money, is not looking for damages, is not looking for anything but to be able to operate like the rest of the world is now. Rich Hooten, who owns Body Sculptors in Greenville, joined several others in the suit. Thousands of people on the Facebook page reopened NC's health clubs, raised money to file the suit. We're speaking for the entire community in North Carolina. We're not being entrusted with the care of our membership. Similar to the joint suit, Morgan hopes his own lawsuit can help more than just his business. I just want the right to work. I want the right to take care of the people that, that nobody else is taking care of. Now, a judge will still need to hear each of these lawsuits and make a ruling on whether to grant the temporary restraining orders. Morgan hopes his suit will be heard sometime later this week or next week. Reporting live in Wilmington, Kylie Jones, WWAY News. Donna.